All right, stack three. Continuing up to Ludacris. Release therapy. Um, this has one of my favorite songs of his, War With God. Right there. Other than that, it was a decent album, not my favorite. Uh, in fact, one of my least favorite Luda albums. But, whatever. The Red Light District. Um, yeah, uh, it was alright. That's the thing about Ludacris albums is that they're never like, well to me anyways, they're never great. They're just good with, I don't know. They're just good. Like there's nothing special about like Ludacris albums to me. I really like Ludacris. He's one of my favorite rappers, but he just puts uh, too many average and bad songs on his albums. Theater of the Minds, pretty good. I really liked, uh, actually this one I really did like. I really did like this one. Aside from, you know, some of the obvious songs that were weak. But one of the things that bothered me about this, though, was I Do It For Hip Hop with Nas and Jay-Z. It really irritated me that Jay-Z's verse was like, the quality seemed a lot lower and it, it just seemed like they kind of just tacked his verse onto it. Like Luda and Nas, theirs kind of went together, and then Jay Z was kind of just out of nowhere with this weird flow, weird voice, and weird like the quality was just it sounded low. Like it didn't sound. It sounded like he recorded like a small recording studio. I don't know. This dude's a millionaire and he can't afford good production. Oh, that's weird. Anywho's Lupe Fiasco. If you can see that, read that. The cool. The cool. I really liked this album. This was a, um, even like the songs like Go Go Gadget Flow, which were like, you know, you hear it, you're like, what the fuck is that? It's good. Like, I liked all, I think I liked all the songs in here. Well, maybe not all of them. I didn't really like High Definition or Gold Watch. Or Streets on Fire. Or Fighters. But still, a very good album. Lupe Fiasco's Food and Liquor. Also very good. Um, I prefer the cool to this album. But... I still really like this one. What have we got next? We got Woo Massacre. And it is my understanding. Yeah, right here. <clears throat> Three. This is the collector's edition. I don't know, I can't read that. Um, variant cover number three of three. So there's three different covers for this. Uh, one with uh, Method Man, one with Ghostface, and one with Raekwon. Uh, when I got this, uh, I think I got it at Target. I want to say I got it at Target. This was the only one they had. I didn't even know that there was three different covers. And then I saw the other two and I was like, what the fuck? But, so yeah. I like the artwork on it though. It's really cool. As far as the album, I think I only listened to it once. I gotta listen to this one again. Um, I was I was never like the the biggest Wu Tang fan. I like Thirty Six Chambers. I like some of their solo work. I like Liquid Swords. Um, I liked uh, the Ghost the Ghostface album. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Whatever. I like Ghostface Killer though. Uh, Mob Deep, the infamous with the classics. You know. Survival of the Fittest, Shook Ones Part 2. Also, Eye for an Eye with Nas. Wait, what's the, wait, what's the Nas song? Was that what it was? I don't remember. I think, I think Nas is on Eye for an Eye though, but. Anywho, I like that album. Murphy Lee, you probably forgot about Murphy Lee. 
He was uh, in St. Lunatic, St. Lunatics with Nelly. Um, I actually liked Mercury. I, I didn't buy this album. It was a gift, but I actually did like Mercury. And this was a, a decent album. There were some pretty good songs on it that I liked. Same old dirty. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I'm looking at the track list. There's only like, I mean, I remember what what the hook gonna be. Uh, shake itself, other. Maybe it wasn't that good of an album. Oh, this goes out. I I like this goes out with um. Everyone, <laughs> there's a bunch of people on that song. Nelly, Lil Wayne, like Roscoe, and someone else. Straight out of Compton, 20th anniversary edition. It's crazy, isn't it? And this was like 07. So that's an old, this is an old ass album. I mean, just look at them. Look at Dr. Dre. Or is Ice Cube? Um, yeah, obviously, you know, this is a classic album. But. Nas, hip hop is dead. I didn't really care much for this album. It had some good songs on it, but. Although the intro, Money Over Bullshit, that was, that was good. There's some pretty good songs on it. I mean, just overall though, it just kind of lacked any kind of like, I don't know, I feel like he did this album just to do it, just to say that he declared hip hop dead. I mean, there was no real, real like, it didn't seem very passionate, but. And this, yay, gigantic stickers that cover up half the CD. Cover. Fuck. Stickers? Hold on. Oh, okay. Now we can listen to the song I was talking about earlier. Yeah, you know. Ilmatic. Um... Again, if you don't know what Illmatic is, then you should not be watching this video. So, I'll leave it at that. Untitled by Nas. Untitled, it's just, uh, just says Nas, although you probably can't see it. Um, again, I didn't really care much for this album either. Whatever though. And I think this adds um, that cockroach song, Project Roach. I think that was a song where he said something about cockroaches having like six legs or something. I don't know. Anyways, Melly, Country Grammar. This is an awesome album. Uh, people like to clown on Melly a lot now, but when this came out, this was amazing. I remember. Uh, I mean, if you think about it, like Ride With Me, EI, Country Grammar, plus you had Other Side, which is my favorite Nelly song. Uh, this, is, this, is a, this is a really good album. Um, Batter Up, I like that. I like that album. And actually, I liked it so much, I had to buy it again because I lent it to my mom and she gave it away, so I had to buy it again. And I had to buy this again too. Wait, no, not this one. Dang it. I didn't like this. This was a gift. Nelly, the dirty versions, it's like remixes of all these songs, I guess. I never even listened to the whole thing. I listened to like three or four songs, realized that they all sucked, and never listened to it again. So, yeah. This is the one I had to buy again also. Nellyville. I really liked this album too, um, because of songs like Nellyville, um, Air Force One, I like Splurge, I like Rock the Mic, I like Number One, Country Grammar 2, 
I mean, when it when I was younger, I really liked Nelly. Now I don't really care for him, but still. And this one, I think I took it on a field trip to Hearst Castle, and I lost it. So I had to buy it again. <clears throat> Excuse the cracking voice. Suit. Another gift. Um. Yeah, no track list, so I don't even remember what songs are on this. Although I think the song with like Tim McGraw is on this, and uh, maybe the song with Christina Aguilera might be on this. Uh, I don't remember what else. I don't like hair. I didn't like it. And sweat for his little sweatsuit album. Yeah, sweatsuit. That's so clever. Fucking gay. Um, yeah, this had the songs like, uh, <laughs> Drop Down and Get Your Eagle On. Uh, god damn it. Uh, 